Let's create a set of pipes. Select on the routing icon called Single Line Set of Pipes. A dialog box opens which contains the set's specifications. Specify the number of tubes, it can be a maximum of six. Here we're creating a single line set of five tubes. For each tube you must specify the characteristics, the name of the network, the network specification, the pipe size as well as the thickness of insulation. If there is no insulation, the field can be left blank. Specify the second tube. The third tube is chilled water. This specification is not currently in the list of networks. By clicking on this button, other networks can be added to the list. The fourth tube is also chilled water, so we should assign the layer chilled water number 2. The pipe sizes for chilled water are both 65 and the insulation is 45. Then specify a last tube for condensates. Now enter a value for the distance between the insulation of each pipe. Once this value is specified, the distance between the centers of each tube is computed automatically. If this distance between centers isn't right for you, it can be changed in the corresponding fields. On doing so, autofeed indicates that the value is forced. Click OK to confirm, you can now start drawing the set of pipes. To draw a set of pipes like this one, select the command single line set of pipes from the routing commands. The dialog box containing the set specifications open again. All the values of the set built in step 1 are still here, so you only have to click OK. Now start drawing this set of pipes, right click and select Start Options. Each tube can start in a different way, but in our case all the tubes start in the same way, they are coming from above. Therefore you should check the box all alike. The flow direction can be specified with a simple click. Click OK to confirm. Now click a starting point, then a second one. The tubes appear with their flow direction arrows and the chosen options. Carry on building the set of pipes simply by clicking further. Here we're going to add a descending option. Right click and choose option. Do not choose end option as it is a current option. Check the box all alike and click on the descending tube diagram then all the tubes take on the same option. Click OK. You can carry on drawing the set of pipes. Now stop here and right click to select an end option that shows that the tubes continue through the floor. All the pipes of the set follow the same option. However, the direction of the field has to be adjusted. Click on the arrows to change them to the right direction. Click OK. This is an end option, so the command terminates. To add a connection to this set of pipes, draw a new piece while keeping the settings from the previous set. You can start from the end of the set or from the pipework coming from above. Click and choose Start Options. In these options, check that the flow comes from the above and click OK. Draw the set of pipes by clicking once for a start point and again to indicate an end point. Now right click and choose quit to end the command. In the next video we'll see how to make the connection between the two pieces of set of pipes. The single line set of pipes command draws the same lines as the single line drawing command. This set of pipes could have been drafted with any of the two commands to produce an identical end result. To make a connection between two single line objects, use the intermittent connection tool from the single line drawing toolbar. Choose connection from above. Select the new tube to connect to and then the receiving tube. Click to confirm and restart the command. Click once and then again. Confirm, start the command again for each pipe of the set. 
That's it. The connections are made. To finalize this connection drawing, let's modify the graphic representation of the tube crossings. Select the crossings toolbar and use the cutting command which allows you to select the boundary and specify all the items to cut. Click to confirm and to restart the command. Again, select the boundary and then all the items to cut. Repeat on all the crossing connections of the set of pipes. Now the connections have their final graphic appearance.